prayer candle for each Orlando shooting victim. The Catholic community of South Baltimore was invited tonight to pray for Omar Mateen and the 49 people he killed. Since last night they began to list the names, it makes it more real when you begin to see people's names and profiles. Today, a Catholic bishop in Florida, Robert Lynch, is getting attention for a blog post. He writes, it is religion, including Catholicism, that often breeds contempt for the LGBT community, and that leads some into hatred or violence against gays. I also felt that the targeting and the language that's often used, including often used by Catholics, uh, relative to the LGBT community, uh, it doesn't do any good. It harms. Pastor Patrick Carrion of Holy Cross Church says he has not read the bishop's post, but offers this. The church is not against people who are homosexual. They just state that everyone should remain chaste and that sexual relationships should remain within the confines of marriage. Orlando Shooter Mateen was Muslim. The FBI is investigating reports he was gay and secretly living a double life. There is debate about the Koran's attitude toward homosexuals. A 2014 Pew Research Center study of U.S. Muslims showed 47% believe homosexuality should be discouraged. We have a responsibility to make sure that we're standing up for the rights um, and liberties of all other groups, regardless of their race, religion, sexual orientation, or gender. And Baltimore Archbishop William Lurie wrote a blog as well. He called this shooting an absurd and evil act of hatred against gay people. We're live in the newsroom, George Lettis, WBAL, TV 11 News.